so we're back. So the skill that we're going to learn now is skill number 10, which is how to dress a client who has a weak arm. Now for testing purposes, the proctor will tell you what side is the weak arm. For instance, they'll say, you're going to dress a client with a right weak arm. So keep in mind when you are testing which side they said is your weak side, your right or your left. And it's only the weak arm. So keep in mind the client can stand, the client can move, they just have a weak arm. So for our training purposes for this skill, we're going to say the client has a weak left arm. So keep that in mind while we're going through this task. Now the client is going to be sitting in a chair when the care begins. So we have the client sitting in a chair, and it will not be in a wheelchair. For testing purposes, your client will be sitting in a regular chair. This is just so you can see exactly what's going on. The client is already wearing a t-shirt and some boxers or a t-shirt and some panties. So for testing purposes, you'll already be in your clothes and we're just going to dress you over your clothes. So don't be alarmed. You're not going to have to get unclothed to get reclothed for testing purposes. But not only are these skills so you can pass your Prometrics, but these skills are so you know the basic skills to provide services to your clients. So you're going to have clients that have weak arms or weak legs, and this is helping you. Also, remember are common practices. So you're going to identify yourself to your client as we've done in the last skill. So here we go. Follow along. Knock, knock, knock. Come in. Shut the door for privacy. Hi, Mr. Client. I'm Hope. How are you today? Great. Well, I'm here to get you dressed. Are you ready to get dressed this morning? Awesome. Okay. So now, once again, we've gone over our common practices. We've introduced ourselves. We've closed the door for privacy. And we spoke to our client, said good morning, and let them know we're here to get them dressed. Now, you do not have to wear gloves for dressing a client. If you feel comfortable wearing um, gloves versus not wearing gloves, that's your choice. But you do not need to wear gloves for this practice. So, our client is sitting in the chair. I'm going to dress the client over the nightgown so the, the client has some privacy. What you're going to do is you're going to ask the client, Mr. Client, what would you like to wear today? We have your green uh, army colored shirt, or we have your gray slacks. We have, um, oh, this is a pretty like teal color green shirt. And we have these grayish blue or grayish green slacks. What would you like? You want to wear this outfit today? Okay. Do you see what we've just done? We've given the client the right to choose what he or she wants to wear. It's not our decision. We don't go to the closet and say, Mr. or Mrs. Smith is going to wear this today. They may not want to wear that today. And once again, if you remember, that falls under common practices. The client has a right to decide what he or she wants to wear. So it's very important, and for testing, that you ask your client, what they would like to wear. So now what we have to do is start getting the client dressed. We're going to cue the client and say, Mr. Client, we're going to get your shirt on. Now if you remember, I told you the client has a weak left arm. So what side do we dress first? You always dress the weak side first. The reason being is because they don't have the strength if I put this shirt on his good side and then try to get it on his bad side, he may have to do all this and it's a weak side. So you'll dress the weak side first. This is what I suggest. Put your hand in, make sure the shirt's unbuttoned. Put your client's weak arm. Now how you're going to do it is you're not going to say, okay, Mr. Client, because this is his weak arm, remember? So you're always going to Treat them with the utmost respect. So hold your client's arm. Put his hand through. Do you see what I'm doing? At the whole time, you're supporting this weak side. And you're pulling the shirt up. Does everybody get that? Now you're going to ask your client, Mr. Client, will you?
you sit forward for me because the client can move. Oh, Mr. Client, this shirt color looks so wonderful. Are you doing okay? Okay. Go to the other side. Can you sit up for me a minute? Awesome. Supporting from the back, not the head. The back. And remember, the client can move. He will not be in a wheelchair. And now this arm, you're able to have a little more play with it. So you can move this arm to get your client dressed. How are you doing today? I hear you're going to lunch with your daughter. How exciting. Has it been a while since you've seen her? Oh, look at this. Oh, she's going to look. I think this is the one she, can you scoop back for me on your chair? Awesome. I think this is the one she got you for Christmas, Mr. Client. The other thing that's real important is you're going to make sure that you button or zip the client's clothes. Don't just put this on and assume the task is finished. Would you want to go outside like this? Absolutely not. So you're going to make sure that you button the client's clothes all the way down or zip them to ensure that they're covered up and that they look proper. So all buttons and snaps, zippers, have to be completely done. You will not do well on this exam if you leave even one button because you haven't completely finished dressing your client. With this, remember the weak arm, hold the weak arm, and then button the buttons on the sleeves. It's very important that you button all the buttons and all the snaps and all the clasps. Now, you will notice I left one button at the top, and I'm going to ask Mr. Client, do you want this button all the way up, or would you like it loose? And it's up to your client. For testing purposes, I want you to button all the buttons, because that's what the, the requirement is. Awesome. Wow, you look so snazzy today. All the buttons have now been buttoned. Now, you're going to make sure your client has skid-proof socks on their feet or a slipper with a sole, a rubber sole, or shoes when you get them up to put their pants on because they cannot stand with just bare feet or socks that are going to slip. That's not safety. Remember our common practices is the welfare and safety of our client. So this client has no skid socks. So I'm going to go ahead and put the pants that he chose on. So I have the client stay seated for this task until it's time to pull your pants up. And remember, the client does ha doesn't have a weak leg. They have a weak arm. So you'll go ahead, be careful, lift the client's legs and feet with with care. For test purposes, you will make sure at this point, after you get the pants on, that you put the client's shoes on or the person who's portraying the client during testing before you stand them up. That's cutting back a lot of steps, but it's also a safety practice. For today, my client has no skid socks on. So now I'm going to stand him up. And remember, you want to move the client's extremities with caution and care. They're not a doll. They're somebody that needs love and care and pay attention to their needs. Also, you want to promote the rights and, of the clients throughout this entire task. So you're constantly speaking to your client. How are things? Are you feel okay? The next thing you're going to do is you're going to have the client stand and remember, the client has a weak left arm, so there's no way you can ask the client to put his hands on the chair and stand up, but he can with his right arm. So you can say, Mr. Client, can you push off with this? What you're going to do here, 
You're going to hold the client with the weak arm as you stand them up. So he's helping us by standing. Standing. He can hold on to the chair with his right arm because it's good. And you're pulling up. Sure we are. Thanks for your help. We're pulling up his pants and making sure that he's dressed. Making sure the whole time your client is dressed, the pants are, are right, he's comfortable. You're keeping mind that he has a weak left arm. Now he's dressed, his shoes are on, he's ready to go to lunch with his daughter. At this time, you're going to say, Mr. Client, how do you feel? Oh, you look so handsome. Is there anything else I could get you before I leave today? Sure, no problem. He'd like his cell phone because his daughter's going to call him when she's outside waiting. This task has now ended.